Hi friends, it's Charisma with Charisma's Corner and we're in the little pink barn today. And another fat quarter design, another, another design with stars. What I love about these designs, not only for the fat quarters, the traditional blocks made new, all of that, but I love the scale of design when we can mix big stars and little stars and all of those sorts of it gives something for your eye to look at and it kind of like causes movement in the quilt sometimes. So here is Starlet's in a Benner text line by Nancy Halverson and it's one of her basics. It's called Wovens, I think, something like that. And they sort of, they're cottons, but they sort of look like they are flannel, like they have that sort of printed look to them. And so again, I just threw everything in I think there's also a few of their superior solids because I was, I needed, I think 32 fat quarters for this quilt along with some white and then your binding. And I love it. The more we can fit fat quarters in there, the better. And this one seems a little daunting when you're cutting it. There are diagrams to show you how to cut each fat quarter so that you can get the most out of it and then we have categories for you to organize them as you're cutting so that when you start sewing the blocks together, you know exactly, oh, this is for the little stars, this is the center, this is the background, that sort of thing. So when you first open the pattern, don't get overwhelmed by that. Just take it step by step and it shows you exactly where to put each one to make your piles because in the grand scheme of things, we're really only making two blocks. And so this would be a perfect quilt for also using scraps if you wanted to do that. And again, we're using the no waste flying geese method. So it makes it go very quickly. And again, for my demonstration, I'm only using scraps that I had on my table. So I'll be able to show you how to do that. And let's get started on the first block. Oh, so with Starlets, the pattern link will be below in the description box. Again, you can get everything on charismascorner.com. I have digital downloads and paper patterns that you can have shipped. So let's get started on those blocks. So on the first block, we're going to start with the big star, which is this one right here. And we sort of have that pinwheel in the middle. I love the way that gives motion and for this block we need four colors and so for my block I have these two like daisy prints one is in a black background one is the aqua and then I have the gray and the red and again this is the same kind of deal is that I think you can just throw any color in we have brights we have muteds we have pastels I think the more the merrier it just gives it something interesting to look at. Again, we went ahead and marked all of these squares and we're going to line them up on our big square here. So you can see the line goes all the way across. It overlaps in the middle and we're gonna sew on both sides of that marked line. And we'll go ahead and take that to the sewing machine now. Okay, now that that is done, we're going to go ahead and take our ruler and we're just going to cut on that marked line. And now we're going to press these open. So we have these two little kind of heart shaped blocks. And then we're going to take these squares and do the same exact thing. We're going to line them up in the corner here with that diagonal line that we marked going right through the center and we're going to sew on both sides of that marked line. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and cut on that straight line just like we did on the last time. 
And now we have four flying geese. We're just gonna go ahead and press those open. Okay, so that's one part of that block. And then the second part is you have a couple of large squares and a couple of medium sized squares in your cutting instructions. And we cut some of them on one diagonal and then we cut some on both diagonals. And what we are doing is making these quarter square units. So we have two small triangles, one red and one gray, and then we have a larger triangle. So we're gonna go ahead and sew this to make a triangle to sew onto there. So we can make these four units. That's what creates this pinwheel in the center. And you want all of the units to be the same. Okay, and so now I'm just going to go ahead and sew that to my bigger gray triangle. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create our triangle or our little pinwheel that we need going here. And you can see how that block is coming together. So let's go ahead and sew those units together. all of this. Okay, and there is our first star, the big star. And now we'll go ahead and work on the second block. I already have three of the stars made for that and it's so adorable so we'll go ahead and move that over there and put this one here and so again we have our background squares this is our center square and then we're going to do that no waste method again so i'm going to put right sides together line up those two squares there's my line and i'm going to sew on both sides of that marked line have my ruler out. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Go ahead and press those open. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing with my squares here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut on that straight line. And then I'm going to press that open. Wearing a black shirt in the studio is dangerous because as it is everywhere I go, I have stray threads all over my clothes and then wearing black just accentuates that. But I pretty much always wear my scissors around town too. So, cause I forget that they're there. They're just part of my uniform, I think. Okay, so now that we have all of those done, we can see how this star comes together. We have our center, our star points, and our white background because there's two stars with white backgrounds in every block and then two with the colored and we'll sew those together. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and press those. I'm going to press 
this one in and I'll press these out. All right, look at our little star, isn't that sweet? Okay, we'll go ahead and press that. Okay, now we have our four stars here. I'm going to go ahead and sew these two together. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, even though that's actually nesting pretty well, just gonna put a pin in there just to make sure. And look at our two blocks side by side. So fun. And you can see, you can just use a mix of everything and it works out. Our two stars side by side, so pretty, so great and starlets. So the little big stars and the little baby stars creating the little starlets. I hope you had a great time. I hope that if you make this project, you'll share it. Hashtag Charisma's Corner, Charisma Horton Designs. And again, you can find all of my patterns in my shop at charismascorner.com. Until then, bye.